What's up, party people? Check out this thing, dude. Pretty cool. Yeah, so this is, I believe, the 750 watt motor. There was also the 900 watt. You got basically the LZR and then the LZR Pro. I'm kind of small. I'm like 140 pounds. Anyhow, let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box. Ta-da, look at that, that's cool. Very nice. I went with a sage finish. Thought it was very beautiful looking. Quality. Oh man, that's beautiful. Okay, so now we are in power mode one. One, two, three, four, five. Outside, the paint is beautiful. It's a little bit windy, so I'm gonna try and do not so much chalking and just kind of ride it around for a little bit and see what I can figure out with it. All right, so I just started pedaling and the electric assist kicked in. It kind of just like, once you start pedaling a couple of times, it just kind of uh, engages the throttle, I guess. You can hear the electric a little bit. It's a nice sound. Bike feels really good, very sturdy. It definitely feels, you know, a little bit bigger, obviously, but it feels good. All right, power mode two is pretty much perfect for the shred track, I would say. Any more, and it would be shooting me out of the shred track. <laughs> That's some pretty good power just for level two. Um, this thing handles really good, it's very smooth. It's definitely heavier, but it doesn't really bother the berms, turning, carving. Level three. So as soon as you stop pedaling, you can hear it kick off. It disengages the throttle so you can coast. So the more, the harder you pedal, the more the motor kicks in, the more power you get. Brakes work good. Never had disc brakes. Junk bike has the, uh, what do they call them? Ooh, just try to pick it up. Ugh. It's heavy in the rear, heavy in the rear. But man, is that thing beautiful. Look at that. Hello, Shrek Cat. And here we have junk bike in here. So since we're going uphill, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up to level four. See what that feels like. <laughs> Pretty good. 
had to do a couple of like hard pedals, you know, but then got up to a little bit of momentum and that electric power train took over and it's good. We're just gliding now. Go ahead and put it in power level five, and uh, this is the top speed and electric assist. Nice. So this is all uphill. Very efficient little e-bike, even if you're just wanting to cruise around. And just like that, we're back in Shredville. Initial two or so pushes are a little bit difficult and then it kicks in. It's just like, it lifts you up and gets you going. Yeah, it's great. well designed it's a great quality bike and um, I'm a very happy consumer for sure so let's go ahead and go over like my favorite parts I mean the paint is beautiful the finish you know um, it's easy to use uh, it was easy to assemble and uh, to figure out how to use it it was easy you just you got one button to toggle all your settings I didn't know how it was gonna engage the throttle but you know I kind of figured there might be something on the handlebar to press but the way that it's set up to where you just you pedal and it just automatically kicks in it, it sounds like that might be a situation where like that wouldn't be something that works really would really good rather but let me tell you they have dialed it in and they have that system working really well the first pedal and a half maybe might be a little bit tough especially if you're going uphill but it at, when that motor kicks in you're going and um you know it's it's somewhere around 50 pounds the box says 50 pounds but the power to weight ratio perfect this thing feels weightless okay there's stuff that like in the shred track i i'm just having to pedal super hard just to get the junk bike off the ground with this thing as long as you're pedaling that motor's kicking in and it'll just you can get some air it's just it glides man so it's definitely a good dirt jumper which is what it's primarily targeted to be but also just an all, all, all around mountain bike, I would say is pretty good because in the shred track, it's pretty tight because it's primarily designed to be a one wheel shred track, but I can maneuver the shred track corner and everything really well. It's, uh, it's just, it's really quality bike parts, a great design as far as the electric system. Um, it's, it's incredible. I'm super happy with this purchase. It's perfect for shred. I love how it's not just power at your finger trips. Like you still have to work for the power a little bit. If you wanted to work less for power, you would probably want to go ahead and get the bigger motor, the 900 watts. But for me personally, this was the perfect shred device for Shredville. It's just, uh, I love it. Absolutely love it so much. One thing though is, um, I kind of mentioned here and there talking about motors. I know I ordered the 500 watt motor for sure. And I was okay with that. And then I remember somewhere I was like, it says 750 watt. Where I seen that apparently it was right here. It says class three, 750 watt motor. Um, so I'm not really sure because it definitely says 500 watt on my receipt. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm obviously not complaining, but I'm, I'm interested to see what motor is actually in there. 
If I had to guess, I would say it's probably a 500 watt by looking at it. The one wheel motors are 750 watts and they're a little bit bigger, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, it's incredible. And uh, I would recommend it to like just about anyone, you know. Depending on what you want to shred, I mean, if you want a bike that is electric assisted, this is uh, a great device, you know. It's awesome. I love it.